Today I'm measuring the performance of the shutters in some old Mamiya twin lens reflex lenses. Because it's a twin lens reflex, there's one lens through which you view, which doesn't have a diaphragm or a shutter, and one which takes the picture, which has a shutter mounted inside the lens, as you can see here. The test setup is a power supply, which you might better hear whirring, uh, feeding a photo transistor and resistor mounted on a small circuit board. These are positioned underneath the lens and the output of the circuit is measured using a digital storage oscilloscope. So what I'm going to do is shine a bright light through the lens and trigger the shutter. So we put the LED torch over the lens and of course it doesn't want to stay and we fire the shutter and we see what we get. As you can see we've recorded a trace here on the oscilloscope which shows the gradual opening of the shutter, the time it was fully open and the closing again. The shutter is set to a 500th of a second so it should be open for two milliseconds. What we actually find is that from when it starts to open until when it finishes opens is actually three and a half milliseconds. Um, it takes almost a millisecond for the shutter to open and another millisecond or so for it to close. Uh, the time during which it is completely open is about two milliseconds so it seems as if the shutter's calibrated to give uh, a fully open time which is equal to the shutter speed you've set but you will actually get slightly more exposure than that because of the time it takes the shutter to open and close. At slower shutter speeds this won't be significant but at a 500th of a second the time taken for the shutter to open and close is significant. Of course whilst the shutter is opening and closing it's not going to let the full amount of light through but nonetheless at a 500th of a second it's very clear that you will get a longer exposure than the one you have set. The good news is that these shutters all seem to be very consistent from one shot to the next and reasonably consistent between lenses with the exception of my 55mm wide angle lens which overexposes by more than half a stop at the slower shutter speed. I've attached below the video a link to a PDF file with the full results for those who are interested in them. Thank you very much for watching.